So if you guys are curious, I wanted to show you guys how to tell the sex of a quail. One of the easiest things to do, a lot of people say color, um, but I wouldn't ever go by that. I would go by two things. I would go by physically sexing them or uh, a crow. Now a crow is not like a, uh, what do they call it, there's a call that the female will make to kind of, it's, it's like a locating call to figure out where other quail or crows are. Um, other quail or roosters are, but that's not the same thing. The, I'll try and get a, a video of the crow specifically, and if it makes that noise, it is a male, guaranteed. The females will not crow. But the best way to uh, sex your quail is to check um, and, and actually physically do it, and I'm going to show you how to do that. I've got a male and a female in here. Alright, so this one here, what you want to do is you want to lift them and put them backwards, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to go towards their vent here and we're just going to, if I can get him turned right without hurting him. So you want to turn them upside down and then right at his vent you're going to feel a little bulge and we're going to press right there and you'll see a foam right and you don't have to press hard you just press a little bit that's a male for sure so we're going to look we're going to look underneath here at the vent and I don't know if you can see but she doesn't actually have anything going on and when you push a little bit nothing's really coming out I don't know if you can see it um, and I know she's a female the other one's a male obviously so she's definitely a female because we're getting eggs So, and it's kind of hard when you pick them up you want to make sure that you're holding you're holding them uh, firmly enough not to hurt them but if you don't hold them firmly enough and they're flailing around um, you can actually hurt them because their their wings can break and things like that so you want to make sure that you're getting hold of them and holding them firm enough so that way they're actually um, not hurting themselves hopefully you found that helpful if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask below and I can address them. I can make a whole video on it. So, rate, comment, subscribe, YouTube, mumbo jumbo.